Hey, how you guys doing? It's uh, me, Sean, again from uh, C3 Cyber Club. Uh, this is our sixth video tutorial going over particles uh, for our Platinum Art Sandbox in our game design class. So uh, if you want to learn about the wonderful world of particles and how you can sort of uh, put them into your game, definitely check out this video. Uh, so let's get started. Um, particles. Well, particles are pretty much um, a series of small little elements that are combined together to create a visual effect. Uh, so that could be from rain, smoke, fire, uh, lens flares, to snow, leaves, uh, even electricity. Um, lots of different things can be uh, uh, utilized uh, when you use particles in the right way and uh, put into your game. So uh, let's show you how we get started here. And a great level to first start off with uh, when you're working with particles is a particle showcase, which is um, created by the guys at Platinum Art Sandbox. So let me just show you how to get there. Uh, we can go to escape, load map, and uh, if you just go to global maps here, you'll see a level called particle showcase, this one. All right, and uh, so you'll be introduced to all the different sort of particles that you can put into your game from different elements and uh, a lot of ways to sort of change the properties of each one. Um, so let's just get started. Let me show you how to do a brand new one from scratch. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to go ahead and press escape here and go to new particle. Um, now you can do the same thing uh, if you go to F3, New Entity, Type, Particle. Um, pretty much the same way to do it, just one way is quicker than the other. So I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way, Escape, and uh, go over here. So we have a lot of different options, a lot of different uh, values that we can change. You know, from fire, standard to explosions, bars, text effects, to lens flares. Uh, we're just going to stick with just the fire for right now. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to just so go ahead and just say create fire slash smoke. So this is just a basic template to start off with. And uh, what we're going to do is we need to change the properties to this particular particle. So we need to go ahead and press F3. Oops. Sorry. F3. And uh, so we have all our different values here. Uh, so the first one is the radius. This is how wide do we want our fire to be? Okay. So let me go ahead and just drop this down a little bit. The second one is height. How high do we want it to go up in the sky? So as you see, it's going much, much higher. So let me just bump that down a little bit. And then there's size. Now a lot of people get confused between radius and size. So what size is, this actually changes the size of each individual uh, particle. So remember, particles are uh, incorporate a lot of different elements together. So if I go ahead and make this really small, you see that the particles are very small. But if I make it really big, each particle is uh, grows in size. So let me just bring this down a little bit. And our next one is our RGB. Remember red, green, blue? So to make this look like fire, it looks like it's black right now. So it's not looking like fire too much. Let me uh, bump up the red here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just do maybe 150. And uh, let me go ahead and drop down the blue. And uh, let me just bump, bump this down one more time. There we go. So we got some fire going on right there. Pretty cool. Okay. Now uh, the speed basically um, just changes how fast we want the fire to be moving. Uh, it's a little moving a little bit slower. Bump up the number to the right. It's going to make it go much faster. A negative number, again, sort of do the same thing. Uh, fade time. Uh, fade time represents how long it lasts, uh, how long that particle lasts uh, in your level. So if we bump up the fade time, you'll notice that it's staying in the game much longer. Uh, you can think of it as smoke. When smoke is uh, in the sky, it eventually dissipates. So that means that you know, the fade time might be lower, but uh, if it's staying in the sky much longer, it's going to have a higher fade time value. So I'm going to just drop that down a little bit. It's pretty good. And sometimes you just have to wait a couple seconds to let it load into the game, the new uh, changes that you're making. So just be a little patient when you're doing that. I think gravity is going to affect how the uh, the fire is moving. So it's obviously it's kind of just gelling in this one place, just kind of floating around, not really doing much. So you'd have to go ahead and just change the values to really mess around with that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead back down to uh, zero here. Or just, just pretty good. Okay. All right. Now, once you have a particle in your game, 
Um, you can go ahead and just move it anywhere you want to just by clicking the bounty box. And uh, if you're doing a really big particle, sometimes it gets a little bit hard to see it because you have the particle actually affecting it. So make sure you kind of keep it small first or get in the right place before you really start messing around with it. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this into different types of particles. Right now we have fire. If I use my scroll wheel, I can cycle through uh, different uh, particles here. So we have a flame. Uh, we have a smoke plume just by using my scroll wheel. I have smoke. I have a fountain. Uh, an explosion here. Uh, explosion's pretty big. There we go. And uh, got a meter here, text, and a flare, and some lightning. So you can go ahead and create some other types of particles very quickly just by using your scroll. But uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, depending on the properties, because it keeps the same properties that you had before. So obviously w the water properties not might be the same as the fire properties when you're creating that particular particle. Okay. So let me go back to my fire here. And uh, we can go ahead in here and we can turn it off. Uh, we can say uh, fire and smoke. There's fire, smoke, we can also do it that way. Now a great thing to do is, I'm going to go ahead and just delete this for right now, is to use these particles as templates. And uh, you can actually copy these particles and put them in your game. Uh, it's a great way to first start out when you're uh, dealing with particles just because there's a lot to it and there's a lot, there's millions of combinations and variations uh, when you're designing them. But if you really just need one, uh, you, what you can do is you can go ahead and just copy it. Uh, you can go to escape. Uh, you can load up your map that you made before. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, open up this one, some random one. And uh, you can go ahead to edit mode and just click on V. And now you've pasted that particle from the particle showcase. And now I can go back in here and I can change some of the values and make it look, customize a little bit more for my particular level. Okay. So let me go back to uh, my global map here and uh, let's go to my particle showcase again. All right, so we're going to make some snow right now for one of our new particles. So uh, what we can do is I'm just going to start from scratch uh, just to show you how they sort of made this one right here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just press escape. Let's go to new particle. And uh, what we're going to do, uh, instead of going here to fire, we're going to go all the way over to the effects. Okay, and uh, we're going to go ahead and got our snow selected, and we're going to go ahead and say create. So since we're starting off with scratch, um, there's a reason why it doesn't look that, because we have to change the properties. So we're going to go ahead and just press F3 here. And uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to give it um, a circular shape. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is we actually need to go to Use Effect here. And uh, in here, this is where we can actually add a shape to our particle. So you can do a box if you want to do. You can do a plane, um, a sphere, uh, even a cylinder. But what we want to do is number 21, and uh, which is actually a sphere. Okay, so each number there's a different value for it. So for example, if I go ahead and press four, it's a cylinder shell. There's not too much documentation on that, but the more you kind of play around with it, uh, you can see the new types of shapes that we have. All right, so now that we have the shape of our snow, uh, we need to bump up the length here. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's just do maybe uh, 80 for right now. Okay. And uh, we can go ahead uh, to our fade time. And remember, fade time allows us to basically tell us the particle how long it's going to last uh, in the game. And what we want it to do is actually, we want the uh, snow to hit the ground and actually create like an effect. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually do a negative number. So let's go ahead and say negative 8,000 will be the exact opposite here. So as the snow is kind of coming out, it's uh, hitting the ground and it's leaving a little mark. Uh, we can also change the size because our snowflakes are pretty big right now. So I'm going to kind of drop that down a little bit. Let's just do maybe 20. So now, yeah, there we go. We've got some tiny little snowflakes. And uh, remember of our velocity, if we want to go ahead and kind of have it spread out a little bit, uh, we can bump it up a little. So we'll just say 30. It's a little slow right now. So let's go even higher. Let's start off with maybe 200. There we go. Oops, and it looks like I changed my color value here. I'm going to make this zero. Oops, and uh, 
sorry, zero is going to be uh, black, so you have to do the exact opposite. 255 is as high as you can go for your color value. So we're going to go ahead and just bump this all up to 255. There we go. So now we got a white uh, snowflake. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Let me just bump up the size a little bit more. Ah, 240 is going to be way too big, sorry. There we go. Okay, now if you're not used to just putting uh, typing in the values, uh, you can also just go to miscellaneous and go to use sliders to do the same exact thing. Um, it's very helpful when you're really first kind of playing around with the software and the particles, but if you really need to make a, you know, a certain value, uh, it's much easier to go ahead and just turn it off because sometimes you get kind of locked in one position, you really can't do much. Okay, now let's just go ahead and smooth this up in the air a little bit. So our snow is behaving like snow. And there we go. So the higher we place it in the sky, the more of an area it's going to affect. So that's snow. Now remember, we can go ahead and change the snow, and we can change this to something else. So I went to go to uh, the leaves here just by using my scroll wheel. So I have leaves in my game. So I can have sort of a fall background and put these leaves in here. Now we can also create a lightning. And uh, we'll go ahead and just put that in the game right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just press escape, new particle, and I'm going to go over here to my effects. And I'm going to go ahead and say lighting, and let's just create it. So this is what we first start off with. Not much going on, but if we go ahead and just press F3 again, we're going to go over to our user effects. And right now it looks like by default it just gave me a 16 for a wall. So let's bump up the length a little bit. And uh, here we go. That was a, too, a little too long. There we go. That's pretty good. Again, I can change the fade time if I want to. If the, I want this lightning to last a long time. Change the velocity if I want to really, you know, have it speed through really quickly. And also the size of the lightning. So let me just do a really small little beams here. Just like that. It's pretty good. Okay. Now there's other sort of uh, particles we can put in here. We can do lens flares. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just press escape here. New particle. Let's go to lens flares create and uh, depending on which way you're facing you're always looking at the camera this particle is always going to sort of uh, hit you and we can add some extra values on there with a sparkle without a sparkle we keep it fixed in one spot change the size also change the color okay now the last one I want to show you was going to be text so with text we just go over here and uh, what we need to do is uh, we write whatever content, text content we put in there, so so I'm going to go ahead and just write that and you need to be very important about your tag numbers because remember if you add more than two uh, text particles in there um, and then they have the same number they're going to say the same exact thing so you have to make sure that you make a new one that has a different uh, tag number so for example if I did two here you'll see that uh, there's already a particle in this game with the tag number 2 so I have to change it okay and uh, I can go here and change my size if I want to and I'm gonna just go ahead and say create once I've done that and I'll just go ahead and put it in my game and now there you go so you can communicate with the player just by uh, adding a text particle into your game before I go let me just show you some ways we can sort of incorporate them into your game and give you some ideas uh, so remember you can use uh, map models with your uh, your particles so for example, uh, we got a fireball right here. Obviously we need some fire for it. So let's go ahead and just copy one of these values. So we go ahead and just select it, press C. Let's go over here, press V. And uh, let me go ahead and just put it right there. Oops, let's move it over just a little bit. There we go. So now I have a map model that's working with a particle to kind of add more depth to my game. Uh, we can also remember have particles hurt us. So, for example, we have this electricity right here. So we can use materials to do that. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go ahead and make a respawn material. I'm going to go ahead and just press F3, materials, respawn. Use my scroll wheel, just push it away. So now, when I touch this particular area, my character should die. <laughs> he should die. Keyword there. Now I think it's probably because I haven't made it thick enough. So let's go ahead and make it a little bit thicker. So let's just go here and put up a little bit higher. And I'm just going to make sure I have the whole area selected, which I do. F3, materials, respawn. Go ahead and just push it away. So now when I touch it, it should die.
There we go. So use materials and use map models and other sort of elements in your game to combine it with your particles to add a lot more depth to uh, the game that you're designing. So uh, if you have any questions, check out our website, c3cyberclub.com. Also check out Platinum Arts uh, at um, sandboxgamemaker.com. They have some really great uh, tutorials and some more in-depth stuff about the, uh, the particles. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again. All right, take it easy and keep designing those levels. Bye-bye.